A fresh good morning to you, friends. We thank God so much for the gift of life that He has given unto us. We also thank Him so much for this brightest morning that we are going to start this day with His Word. I once again welcome you to our third study, which is entitled Confession. In this study, you are going to learn what confession is, what happens when you confess your sins, and what will happen if you don't confess your sin. Our memory text is coming from the book of First John chapter 1, verse 9, which says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this time once again, as we are going to study your word. Be our teacher, guide us in everything, in Jesus' name, Amen. Let's look about what the Bible talks about confession, meaning of confession. Go with me in the book of Leviticus 5.5 5, and it says, and it shall be when he is guilty in any of these matters that he shall confess that he has sinned in that thing. This shows us that confession is mentioning what you have committed. So if one of us realizes that you or she has sinned, or maybe she stole something, or maybe he lied, as he asks for forgiveness, he or she should mention that very sin that you or she committed. If like I like someone, as I want God to forgive me, I'll go in my knee and pray, saying, please God, today I like someone. I pray that may forgive me and gives me power never to lie again. That's how confession is. Also read in the book of Psalms 32 verse 5, it says, I acknowledged my sin to you, and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgression to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Here David acknowledged that he has sinned against God. What did he do? He confessed. He confessed that sin that he committed unto the Lord, and he was forgiven. So friends, we are not supposed to cover our sins or speak them in plural. Speak exactly what you did wrong to God. He will have mercy upon you, and he will heal you from that very sin that you have confessed to him. Let's look about what happens when we confess. Let's read in First John, verse chapter one, verse nine. It says, "If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness." The Bible has told us very clearly that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and He will forgive us. That is a very good thing in confession. When you confess, you'll be forgiven. So friends, why not confess today that sin that you are holding, that is troubling you that much? Just confess it to our high priest, Jesus Christ. Indeed, as he has said, you will be forgiven and you find peace in him. Let's also read in Matthew chapter 10, verse 32 and 33. It says, Therefore, whosoever confesses me before men, him will I also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whosoever denies me before men, him will I also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Confessing Christ to men, this means telling the truth about Christ and to our fellow men. But we can only do this if we will not fear to mention our sins to God and we forsake them. But if we confess them to our Lord and we forsake them, we will receive the power 
to acknowledge God in all our ways and it will be easier for us to confess him before men because you know what I've, why I've said this if I'm a good liar I won't tell you that it's not good to lie so already that one I have failed to confess Christ and he has told us very well that if we don't confess him before men he will also not confess us before his father let's look about what will happen if we don't confess our sins let's read in isaiah 29 verse 15 it says what to those who seek deep to hide their counsel far from the lord and their works are in the dark they say who sees us and who knows us when you read from verse 15 to 22 we find that all those who hide their counsels from god and whose deeds are in the darkness on that great day of the lord they will be destroyed in other words if we don't confess our sins and we forsake them we shall perish we are not going to be saved so if you want to be saved on that great day of the Lord, please, the moment you realize that you have sinned, go on your knee and you confess that very sin that you have committed. Trust me, you will find forgiveness because it is God who is telling us through his word. Let's also read, He who covers his sins will not prosper. But whosoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. So if you cover your sins, you don't want to speak about them, you will not prosper. This doesn't mean that God does not know what we do. But he wants us to take the responsibility of telling what we have done wrong to him. This shows what, how you are feeling sorry for what you have done. So, if you want to prosper in this world, please confess your sins to God and forsake them. He will have mercy upon you and he will heal you. God says to us in Psalms 62 verse 8, Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. It's only God that we have as our refuge. So for anything that you are passing through, he knows what every situation that you're passing through. He knows all your problems. He, all, he knows all your needs. But he wants you to trust in him. Tell him what you're going through. He will surely heal you from what you're suffering from. So dear friends, it is by the help of the Holy Spirit that we acknowledge our iniquities. When we gain knowledge of our sins, please let us confess them to our Heavenly High Priest Jesus Christ, who will also confess behalf for us to the Father, and we are going to be saved from all the guilties of our sins. Let it be our daily prayer and to our Lord, requesting for his power to resist evil and overcome it. It has been our sharing for today. Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you so much for this word that you have given unto us today. May you help us to always learn from your word and give us the power to follow what you tell us through your word. Be with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. We meet in our fourth study, which will be entitled Forgiveness, presented by our lovely sister, Mitani Fiona. Please don't miss out.